hello and a very warm welcome to the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia, home to the final round of the 2014 Euro Formula Open. Well, Sandy Stuvik wrapped up the title in Monza, but there is still a very close battle for second between Artur Janos and Alex Palo. And also, let's not forget that this weekend is the third and final round of the Spanish Formula 3 Championship, so therefore there is absolutely everything to race for. But before we get into this week's action, let's take a look back at all the highlights from Monza in September. The second half of the Euro Formula Open campaign kicked off at Silverstone on an overcast but warm July weekend. It's a brief race one though for Enrique Baptista and Nicholas Pola, German torpedoed from proceedings. Also in trouble early on was Konstantin Tereshenko taking the long route through Farm. Tereshenko recovered he tangled with John Simonian, the Russian rotating. Tereshenko couldn't avoid the action as he was then into the clutches of teammate Sean Walkinshaw. Walkinshaw looking to impress in front of his home fans, where it was a victory for Sandy Stuvik. Second place is Palo and third for Yarin Stern. On to race two and it was Stern who got the jump off the line. So they surged through Cop's corner for the first time. However, Stern was quickly shuffled down into third position. Swayf and Thong was one of several drivers to take the gravel trap at Cops Corner. Salo Faisal, another one in the wars, was out front. Sandy Stuvik and Alex Parlo had a very close encounter. Parlo's teammate, Sean Walkinshaw, also having a quick spin. High speed swoops of Silverstone lending itself very well to close racing. That the decisive movement, the race as Parlo just understeered out wide, allowing Stuvik to come through and do the double in Silverstone. Next up at the start of September was the spa franc Champ circuit. Perhaps inevitably there was a little bit of a tangle heading through La Source for the first time. There was also acrobatics heading through Les Combe as both Stuvik and Palo outbreak themselves. This was the race we were hoping for the two principal title protagonists going head to head. As is so often the case at Spa, the weather was changeable. The mid-race shower catching out several of the drivers, all of whom were on slick tyres. Despite that, the field behaved remarkably well. There was very little to speak of in the way of incident. There was plenty to speak of, however, in the way of thrilling racing. This, however, the decisive moment. Sandy Stewart was able to slipstream his way past Alex Parlo, heading along the Camel Straight. Parlo couldn't repass into Le Com, and thereafter, Stewart was unheaded en route to victory three in a row. Celebration for Stuvik with second place Parlo John Simonian completed the rostrum. Race two, the weather conditions were much better, and this time around everybody was safely through. And I saw, although Andres Ravi had a quick spin at Lecom, out front it was Sandy Stuvik who broke clear as Parlo had plenty to do to recover from a disappointing qualifying. Instead, it was his teammate, Konstantin Tereshenko, who headed the battle for second position. So Sathian Thirical and William Barbosa tangled. Also out of the race early on, Christopher Hoa tagging the rear of Tereshenko's car, and both of them into retirement. It's another keenly contested race in the midfield, Sound Faisal in particular, going strongly, as did Waif and Thong. Some brave overtaking manoeuvres around the high speed pull on turn. Obviously, Waif and Thong was then involved in a brief tangle with Sean Walkinshaw, Stuvik broke clear and scored his fourth victory in succession ahead of Artur Janos and New Kanemaru. An ultimate event of the season and it was the Cathedral of the Speed at Monza. The circuit lends itself beautifully to high speed slipstreamers and that is exactly what we got. Although decisively for the championship, Alex Parlo, an early retirement, rolling into the gravel trap. He exited the Retifilio. Sandy Stuvik once more was able to break away from the rest of the pack and it meant that we were well set for a fantastic fight for second position. Kevin Giovese after that trip through the gravel had a remarkable recovery drive and he was in the hunt for the podium places late on. Now heading through the Lesmos on final lap, Giovese was delayed by a rotating Saravia. Sandy Stuvik came through, another win, five on the bounce, really gave him one hand on the title. Second place went the way of Artur Janos from Yukanamaru. Race two, and the scrap was between Stuvik and Giovese, the pair of them easing away from the rest of the field early on. 
left behind. There was plenty of squabbling for position. John Simonian, one of several drivers, had to take evasive action. Chen Wan Lim doing it slightly more spectacularly. Disaster for Wei Fen Thong, tangling with Nicholas Pola. Alex Palo again a poor qualifying session, leaving him with a little bit too much to do. It meant that he was fighting for about fifth position. The chain reaction instigated by Yukanamaru left Palo with a puncture and no points. All eyes then on the fight for second place, which decided in favour of Artur Janos. Kevin Giovese took another trip through the gravel trap. A sixth win in succession and the 2014 Euro Formula Open crown for Sandy Stuvik. A fine, fine second half of the season and a deserving champion. So Yarin Stern, Circuit Barcelona, Catalonia, it, it's a Grand Prix circuit, it's a great place for you to learn. Yeah, it's a very nice circuit, I also really like it, uh, as last year it was uh, my test circuit with uh, Emilio. Uh, I really like the circuit, it's obviously very nice, very quick, very wide, it's a Formula 1 circuit. Very good place to learn for the future in other uh, categories and different uh, races. And yeah, I really like this track. So we're coming into the final round of the season. What are your reflections on the year? It was quite a good year. Uh, obviously not as good as we hoped to because of the issues I had during the years. But very good results. I had four podiums till now. This weekend I will have two more. <laughs> well, let, let's hope we get that. And what's the ambition for 2015? Uh, there's still a lot of options uh, we need to think about. Uh, I can't give you really an answer because I don't know what I'm going to do next year. It really depends about this season, how it will finish. So very best of luck for the weekend. Thank you very much. The ultimate race of the season and the champion Sandy Stuvik aiming to finish the year on a high. Set off from Poles, he chased his 11th victory of his title winning campaign. Everybody somehow made it through the opening sequence. Unfortunately, that didn't last too long because heading into turn three, John Simonia tangled with Michele Beretta and both cars were out early on. We also saw some very promising newcomers, Alessio Rivera in the Corbetta Competizione car and several drivers making their debut in the series and running right at the front of the field. Konstantin Tereshenko and New Kanemaru both in the thick of the action as they wanted to get the best possible championship finish they could whilst impressive debutant Minogue Porcini looking to build on his Italian Formula 4 success. This is the decisive movement of the race for second position Harlow and Stern both to the inside of Janos at Turn 1. Whilst behind Damiano Favranti and Nelson Mason tangled. Mason recovered and was soon challenging Andres Saravia. A pair of them running side by side through the last stage of the lap. Mason edging Saravia off the road and through the escape route. Out front though, Stuvik sailed forth serenely. It was an 11th victory of the year for Stuvik. And the perfect way to start to round off the season. Second place went to Alex Palo and Aaron Stern completed the rostrum. Celebration time for Stuvik and RP Motorsport. It was it was a good race. Uh, my start was pretty bad, and I could hold these two behind me. I was quite lucky, and then I just focused on trying to open up a gap, and it worked. So I'm very happy. Yarin, excellent result this time. Eh? Yeah, it was a good race. I had a very good start, but I was I pushed off out of the track in corner number one, then went back to fifth. Uh, but I managed to overtake again, finished third again. Very good pace. So looking forward for tomorrow for a better result. Alex, almost, but uh, maybe tomorrow? Yeah, maybe tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> yeah, today was a good race. Uh, I don't do a very good start. Um, Arthur overtake me. Then I was battling with... He, he was very fast and nothing. Tomorrow more. the race of the year started much as the year began with Alex Parlow in pole position and leading away whilst behind his campus racing teammate Sean Walkinshaw had a lucky escape into locking wheel. 
once more, one or two of them took the escape route, otherwise the clean through, the opening exchanges. That didn't last too long. Nathan Thong, an early spinner, fortunately staying out of trouble. And Saki and Thiracle in the thick of the action with some of the wild cards. Whilst it all went wrong, they're covering walking short as he just torpedoed out of the race. And over optimistic, Constantino Peroni. Also getting his elbows out a little bit was Konstantin Tereshenko. As he was showing what he had learned through the course of the 2014 campaign. Exactly and Thiracol doing battle with Pulcini. So a very impressive debut for Fabian Schiller, who only found out to be racing a couple of days before the event. Nacio Rivera continued to impress, as did his Corbetta competition teammate, William Barbosa, to battle with Saud Al Faisal. Paolo, though, was never headed. It was a third victory of the season for Alex Paolo, but unfortunately for him, it was only good enough for third in the standings as Artur Janos missed enough points to pip him to the runners-up spot in the championship. Second place went away for the returning Nelson Mason. It was once more Yarin Sturd who completed the podium. Delight for Paolo, a super victory in front of his home fans. He, like so many of the drivers in the Euro Formula Open, got a very bright future ahead of them as the teams celebrated in the Barcelona pit lane. It's uh, beautiful to win and in the last race of the season and more here in my house. And for all the fans that are here, for all the people that are here to see me, uh, thanks for all to the team, my family, to all, all the people that are with me. Thank you. I uh, yeah, right third. Uh, in Monza we've got a uh, very bad luck. Uh, one driver hit me in two races. I can do, I can do nothing in these times, but we finish first now and we have to enjoy that. Stubik has dominated this season's Euro Formula Open, but it's Alex Parlo who scores victory in the final race of the season. Parlo, Stuvik and Artur Janos, all names to watch for the future. But who will be the cream of the 2015 crop? We'll find out next year. For now, thank you for your company throughout a thrilling season of racing.